here we go. Let's see, what we got got tires, air pumped up, got battery, bait, bucket, poles, cooler with ice, cooler with ice, star fruit, oranges, waters. Yeah, baby. Bananas. <laughs> I thought this was bad luck. I don't really um, think, Eric. I think bad luck for the beach. But I think it's bad luck for the fishies today because we got a bucket full of bullets. Eric, Live so ones. If, if you have two bananas, doesn't that cancel each other out? Your wife's a math teacher. Absolutely, absolutely. Two two wrongs don't make a right. Three <laughs> rights does make a left. And two bananas cancel each other out. That's for sure. All, All right. right, we're going to the beach anyway. We ain't going doing no boat fishing. <laughs> so They'll probably be gone we're before good. we get there. We're totally good. All right, let's go check on our mullet. So, so last night you got ambitious and went and got some mullet, right? Well, I got lucky twice. Okay. I got well during the day. I got some. And All right. Then, let's see. And, let's see how they're doing. Then at nighttime, I had to go oh. meet a uh, client to see once floating. Dude, what? Once floating, it's but the rest. Yeah. What's well, that's uh, canal? That's your canal water back at your house plus some some poop? Inter intercoastal water from two different places. <laughs> Some guy gave me a bucket of mullet in the parking lot when I had a client last night at 11 o'clock. So it was bucket pretty, of mullet. Bucket of mullet, dude. Work. A little bit of mullet poo overnight. It's a lot of bit of mullet poo, dude. That is, it's, you know what? Mullet are a little bit more hardy than the average bait fish. They gotta be the spoon of that, man. And it, it, this water is so disgusting that it you, you like can't sewage. even. <laughs> it smells like Doesn't sewage, it? and you can't even see. Do I lie? Oh man, that's that's disgusting. Okay, I gotta get this get guy. that one out, man. Yeah, I gotta get him out. Please. You are. The weakest link. Weak link. Man. Weak link. And um, it's amazing that they're able to actually survive. They're swimming in there, man. They're, they're swimming. They're cruising around. They yeah. want to go back to where they came from. <laughs> the gold of a snook. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So apparently, David, David says <laughs> this is what vultures do. Turkey vultures. Turkey vultures migrate during the winter or during the during the fall. And when, whenever you get those high pressure cold front deals going on. Like much like today, I think we're getting up to a, uh, we're getting all the way down to a, fr a frigid 83 or 84 degrees. Um, that's the peak low. Yeah, late October guys, mullet run and cold front, 83 degrees. <laughs> <laughs> and turkey vultures. And turkey vultures. <laughs> all right, we're here at beautiful Boynton Beach at the Boynton Beach Inlet. Wives and daughters are someplace in North Florida at a retreat. Yeah. We're about to unload the truck. And, 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 and dude, isn't it a good thing that we came light? We didn't bring a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're refilming this, but he seriously said that <laughs> like we're looking out. He's like, and the truth is, the truth is, um, this is actually pretty light for what we normally like to go. Uh, we just, I just can't help it. We've, thin, we've thinned out <laughs> for this trip today. There's only two of us. We called so out all of our equipment. We've only brought this. <laughs> <laughs> a bay of a truck full of equipment. Let's do it, man. We got, we got everything? Um, I think we got it all. Got it all? Just traveling light today? Traveling light. Hold on, hold on. Right. <laughs> now we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Traveling light, baby. Come on, baby. <laughs> all right, do you We're at Boynton Inlet. Got one We're like in. nobody here. What you got there? This is uh, your six and a half, seven inch mullet. Mullet got time. Five zero hook. Make right. it happen, baby. Right. I'm gonna stay close to the uh, thing here. I'm not gonna go out too far. Schnookums. Yeah. Come on, baby. All right, so I got the sabiki on, and this is the best way to get Kuda's attention okay. to put shiny things. You can see the Kuda's down there. Shiny, splashy things. Shiny, splashy things. I've got four. Maybe we can make them shiny, splashy, bloody things. Stick a knife one? in them. Are they all skipjacks? They are all skipjacks. All right, so I put on a sabiki, and uh, there's all these baits swimming by. We're not quite sure what they are. And this is a little skipjack. You guys see those little spines right there? You do not want that going in your flesh. All right, that's not what we're after. Get some fresh mullet. Go get a I, I think it would be a good idea. We should we should probably change the poopy water. 
Absolutely. Let's, you know what? Do you want to do... Let's dilute the poop. Do you want to... <laughs> dilute the poop. <laughs> dilute Everyone's the poop. doing it. Everyone's doing it. Yeah, I don't know, man. I think... Um, yeah, let's go. Let's start. Let's dilute this water a little bit. Get some fresh mullet. Yeah. And uh, see if we can... Hopefully another pot can fly. We'll yeah. We'll, we'll fish this for a little bit. They're like right... They're right in front of you. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, I, yeah, see. I see him. I see him. You see him? Right there. Oh, they're toast. Little toasties. Little toasties. <laughs> All right. All right. So, goal today is to uh, apparently catch a jet ski. It's got the whole beach. <laughs> And he's gotta be. And he really enjoys doing whatever he's doing right around our lines. Right around. Um, well, dude, Perdick, the beach, the Point Inlet, they were both strikeouts. Strikeout city. Strikeout, strikeout. So we got up, brought our mullet back um, to Secret Spot. Secret Spot. All this water level is way up. Uh, log of death the log of death is almost not a non issue here. You can go right over the top. Right, let me get a couple baits out here. Oh! Wow. Uh, I wouldn't call this day success. Struck M out the beach. <laughs> struck out. The maybe, beer. maybe there is something to the banana thing after all. There might be something. <laughs> <laughs> maybe there's something to the bananas. I mean, just because I broke my rod, we struck out at three locations, <laughs> and uh, yeah, there could be something. Well, you might think that we're wrapping this video up. However, um, I'm gonna drop Dude Perdick off and then go pick up my son from school, and I got one more spot to hit. So, take care, Dude Perdick. Thanks for chilling with me, brother. Peace out, man. It was good. Dude, we were totally set up for success, man. We were set up for success. Totally set up for success. Bananas. Ah, ah bananas! Banana! Well, I got one little mullet that I'll put in the freezer. Let's see what we can save for another time. Whoa. Oh, no. What the? Oh, the freezer's off. What happened? Oh, it's unplugged. What? <laughs> it is unplugged. Why would it be unplugged? Oh, man. Oh, this is so nasty. Oh. They're off. Oh, man. Okay. Well, all that mullet that was frozen bait plus an old ice cream cake that were in my freezer have gone the way of the dodo. I gotta clean this out now. It's disgusting. Ah, oh, man. My hands still smell like rotting mullet. You see, a few days ago, my son unplugged my freezer to plug in his scooter and charge it. And uh, God bless him. It is what it is. And now a few days later, I've got uh, stinking, rotting, mullet flesh water in the bottom of my freezer. And so, um, just handling it. I've, I've washed my hands like eight times. I've rubbed lemon in it. I've taken showers. And I can't get the, I can't get the rancid smell off of my fingers. This is like lemon soap something, grapefruit, citrus. That smells nice. I wish my hands smell like that all the time. They smell like rotten mullet flesh. Thanks, Lorenzo. I'm watching Duke Perfect. We're here with Snook Sensei. What's up, man? What's up? Come on, baby. Here we go. All right, and we're gonna do something that I've never done before. We are gonna pull up on a bridge on US-1, up on the median, and we're parking on the median. Austin, 
we're good with this, right? This is how we get them. This, this is how we get them. So, hold on a second. Let me throw a light on. So, Austin, dude, you ready to ready to roll, brother? Uh, yeah. Come on, man. What, what are we gonna What are we gonna do today? Tell us about it. Got some freelance and mullet. Catch some slots. Put them in the box. All right, Lorenzo. It's probably scared them. See all the baits? Yeah. Those are all mullet, man. <laughs> it's mullet time. That's so cool how he does that. All right. Lorenzo's fish on. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. Real, man. What is it? I don't know. You don't see him yet. You gotta keep him out of the pylons. Here, here. Get your rod tip down. Here, back up a little bit. Pop it. Yeah? The other rod. Which one? Pop it, that oh, one. Awesome. My little rod. Oh, shoot. Yeah, you got that. Woo! Come on, Lorenzo. You got to get him up. Come on, you got to reel him, man. Oh, catfish. Big nasty. That is a big... Big, nasty. Oh, get off my GoPro. Good. Toss him back. Ready? Yep. Good job, dude. All right, Lorenzo. We got lady fish. So you know what we're going to do with that guy? Okay. Lady fish. Tarpon? Tarpon bait? What do you think, Lorenzo? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Come on, baby. Mr. Mike! Sir. What's going on, man? Cast it away. You feeling any hits? A couple. A couple little bumps? Yeah. Come on, let's get bumped, man. Let's, let's get a mango going, right? Yes, sir. Come on, let's get it done. The layouts are in the house. All right. What do you think, Sammy? No, that they are wearing sweaters. They are wearing sweaters. That is true. Protect them from the cold air. The frigid okay. 70 what? Four? Yeah, until the sun, the sun comes up. Until so the sun am, comes up. I am being responsible. responsible you are being responsible. Father. The sun is the sun the sun is peeking up over that horizon there, George. It's starting to illuminate the clouds a little bit. Okay, I will. It's gonna be a beautiful sunrise. Hey, keep keep your eye open for mullet, man. Focus on you. <gasps> Lorenzo, dude! What you got, man? That's a nice one, bro. That's a beast. That is a beast. Are you gonna treat us to dinner today? Dude, I'm glad we brought ice for the cooler, man. I'm, I'm glad we came ex with expectation. With expectation. What's that thing in your lip? What you got there, buddy boy? What you got in your lip? What's your lip? What's your lip? Hey, you gotta watch your fingers with this guy. What you got, dude? Mango. Oh, look at that snap action. Bro, that is some fillets right there, bro. Hey, that's a big fat mangrove, Lorenzo. Get him where he needs to be. Bam! Watch your lip. Go get another one. <gasps> Mr. Richard Smith. What you got there, buddy boy? Mangrove. Mangrover. Wow, that's a nice one. Come on! Kind of get it out. Lorenzo. Got most of it out. Hey, that's a um, that's a handsome fish right there, bro. You gotta treat us to dinner today. That is a handsome fish, Mr. Richard. Get him. There we go. You gotta watch your lip, buddy boy. <laughs> now you're going in the pot. <laughs> Woo! Here, get him in the cooler, Lorenzo. Watch those glasses. In the cooler. Beautiful. Lorenzo, what do you think, nice man? Catch, Richard. Richard, nice catch. Nice hey, let, let's get about 20 more of them. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. All right, I'm with the Fort Lauderdale Fishing Kid, Mi Primo. What's going on? How you guys doing? Brian hey. here in West Palm Beach. Got my buddy Colin. What's up, Colin? Hi. Hey, you, you ready to catch some fish? Yeah. Let's get it let's done, get man. Get it done, man. What are we going to tell them fish? Watch your lip.
Watch your lip. <laughs> Cousin Dave, thanks for coming let's out, man. It, man. Let's get it. All right. Come on, fish. Yeah, fish on. <laughs> What you got, bro? We got you a jack, Mr. Collin. Oh, oh, double! He got a double. <laughs> Excellent. Is that one a blue runner? Look at this place, man. Lorenzo, what do you think, man? You gonna get you some fish of the day, Mr. Mangrove? Got sand on your face. Not a disgrace. Look at that sunrise. We got ladyfish out. You got fish on? No. no? Lorenzo, are you on? No, no. Are you still alive? Don't don't set. Don't set. Just reel. Here, let's take a clicker off. Oh yeah. Go. Reel. Just reel fast. Oh yeah, he's on. He's on? on. He's on. He's on. Yeah, he's on. That's on a jack. Good. Hey, somebody yeah, bring the net. <laughs> Nice hook set, Lorenzo. Watch your lip. That's, come on, don't lose them. Keep them tight, dude, keep them tight. Lorenzo, come on, baby. You're my hero, Lorenzo. He's on. Keep, keep, keep it, keep it tight, man. Keep it tight. Come here, bud. Go black tip. All right, little black tip. Here. He's got the rent. Careful, draw. No, up by his head. Up by his head. Up by his head. He'll bite you. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Black tip. Yeah, man. Okay. Little black tip. Lorenzo, come on out here, buddy. Come on over here. Colin, come here, bud. Colin, get in the picture, bro. Come here, Lorenzo. Oh, yeah, That's your first black tip, huh? Yeah. What do you think, man? Yeah, it's a small one. It's a small one? What do you... Ready? Hold them tight. Okay? Good. Now, bring them down to the water. Hold them tight. No, no, no. Up top. There you go. Hold them tight. Bring them down. Get up closer, Dave. Get up closer. There you go. Come on. Hold them tight. Ready? He wants to swim, man. Let him go. He wants to swim, let him go. Push him, push him, push him. <laughs> He's gone, Nice dude. release, buddy. Bro, Lorenzo, give me five, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, what we're gonna do now, Chris, Lips, got that nice monster blue runner. So we got ourselves a wire rig, wire leader. And we're gonna try and get that guy, hopefully he's still alive. Oh yeah. Where is he alive? Okay. That's a bait. That's bait right there, guys. What do you think, Chris? That's great. You ever fish with bait that big? No. No? Okay, we're gonna do right right now. So we're gonna get one hook right here. And we have a stinger rig because the cudas like to take the tail in. And what we'll do is we have a treble. We hook them right here and we can catch some monster cudas. So little blue runner. He's grunting away. So now we're gonna kayak him out. Let's go. Uh, He's about 200 yards out. That's what I call ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> That's sailfish weather water right there. Look at him, he's standing up on the kayak now. What's he doing? Good for you, Chris. On, real like crazy. Real like crazy. Not more hard. Did it go out? It was, it was 
might have some slack in the line. Just caught my PB Pompano, guys. Look at this guy. PB Pompano. Peace. Look at that. Peace. Oh, look at that little dude. <laughs> He's so cute. Yeah. He's so cute. That's how the size of one that go. Hey. I, I hear that tastes like chicken. That, that guy right there, perfect drum right there. Perfect drum. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching Watch Your Lip. Today we got two mango snappers and a black tube yeah. shark. Donkey, baby. Donkey. Uh, check us out on Facebook and Instagram and Sub. subscribe. 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 Guys, you going to subscribe? Yeah. What are we going to tell those fish, guys? Watch, watch my lip. lip. Watch your lip. Woo! <laughs> watch my lip. I said watch my lip. Watch my watch lip. lip. Dave, 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 <laughs> Take redeem. More. Dave, Take more. redeem yourself. Watch your lip, man. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Take care.